Okay, so day two of us working on this yacht here. We have this Detroit Diesel 8V92 Ti in it. Um, it was smoking a lot, running really bad. Um, when you shut it down and then you added coolant to it, um, coolant was low, but the coolant went right into the oil crankcase. He never ran it after that. So there's a lot of coolant in there. Um, it was losing oil, all kinds of mess going on. But again, he just bought this boat in St. Louis and they were taking it down to Florida, I think uh, Tampa area, Bradenton, where they live. Uh, and they were taking the boat for the first trip from where they bought it to home and didn't even make it before they had these, all these problems with it. So uh, we're gonna tear into it again here. This is day two of us tearing into the engine. You're gonna see a lot of surprising finds. dock cart all loaded up and we gotta walk way to the end okay we gotta go down this big ramp <laughs> All right, we're going to jump right in here with the first unveiling. We got the first head ready to come off here. So we're going to remove this head and see what we find. It's only about, I think it's like 140. The rollers are under there and then the injectors tip. You gotta lay it on the side or the We'll lay it flat side. on there and it'll be okay. We just don't want to drag it once we get it down there. Jonathan, do you want to grab around the, let's just move it so where this part is like here and we'll rest it for a second. Okay. Okay. Then come around the other side. You gotta watch your fingers underneath. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're, now we're gonna roll it back this way. You know, the get there. Well, are you still in there? Yep. Can you go back to the stateroom and get one pair of my reading glasses? Might be up where the computer or the printer was, maybe. I can't find my.
She's not ordering anything, right? No, let's put them on one day. That's fine. Pull, I, pull those out. Start using Ziploc bags. <laughs> Bad habit of getting disorganized. Yeah, you definitely want to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this back some when I help you out. Place the when they had it apart, we had to cut the refrigerator in half. We had to sell us all the refrigerator to get it out. <laughs> the lightning took that out. <laughs> that thing out of such a small door, we had to assemble furniture inside because you couldn't assemble it outside to get it through the door. None of, none of these look very nice on, yeah. on the top. There's a lot of a lot of scoring in the cylinder. Oh, geez, this one's feel this. Yeah, this is, you know, there's, there's no way that had compression. Oh, yeah, right here, too, on this side, right there. That's where the piston's messed up, right there. On yeah. this side. these cylinder liner walls are very scored in multiple cylinders. You can see all that vertical scraping and scratching that is not supposed to be like that. This video is sponsored by Gruens. These superfood green gummies are delicious. These delicious green gummies have 60 ingredients, whole food vegetables, whole food fruits, vitamins, minerals, super mushrooms, antioxidants, gut health prebiotics. These things are just packed full of vitamins and minerals that you need. Check out all these awesome ingredients that are in them. These Gruens superfood green gummies are good for gut health, immunity, energy, and brain health. Gruens offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can try these out and be assured if you don't like them, you can get your money back. Click our special affiliate link in the description. It'll take you right to their website where you can make a purchase. Thanks again to Gruens for sponsoring this video. What these are torqued to be <laughs> supposed to be Yeah, they're supposed to be 75. <laughs> they're clearly not. Oh no, they're 90 foot, they're 90 foot pounds. So I got stronger in the past minute. <laughs> you did not get stronger. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's nowhere near where it's supposed to be. Yeah, if you if you just call Detroit, the the, the parts guy that it comes. And you'd buy it from Detroit? I mean you're gonna get genuine Detroit if you do that. Okay. Um Richland Florent is the new. Yeah. Well, it's an option. We'll have to figure this out. But it's still going to be a while before we get the other half off. I mean, we don't, we don't take it. Well, like I said, I told them I couldn't get them in today. I'm going down the stairs outside. I'd... <laughs> That's why I put the wood stairs there. So Good thing the easier. water's not cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> What you need is more stairs.
was like, I thought the stairs were just moving, but it was slow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall in the water with that thing wrapped around your neck. You can just lay it down right there, flat, for now. <laughs> I noticed how high this looks. I can see it with my finger. That's what holds the cam bearing in. Yeah? Covered in oil. Yeah, shine, shine your light in the end of that turbo. It's all oil in there. Yeah. That turbo's passing oil. This is all oil too. I'm glad the boat owner is making a mess transferring the oil out of the oil pan. <laughs> There's a pump that runs it out of the oil pan into these jugs here. Water pumps faster than oil. <laughs> it's pretty green. Not anymore. Hey, it. It's hard to do this backwards. Yeah, it's very thick. And it's pumping oil because it's slow now, I suppose. Yeah. So we got all the oil. We got all the water out. No, it's not that much of anything. I can't tell how full it is. Oh, turn that way. Yeah, it's pumping so slow now that it's gonna take a while. Thick oil. We're gonna get this back head ready to come off now, so we gotta take a few parts off of it to be able to get the head bolts out. to get to that one. Mm -hmm. I know in the last video, several boating experts uh, commented that the engines just remove right through the, through the top. There's hatches up above. But as you can see on the ceiling in here, there is no hatches above. There's no hatches in the flooring. There's hardwood flooring up above. You would have to cut through the flooring, uh, cut through the ceiling to lift and, and raise the engines out of there, which can be done, uh, but there's, there's no easy way to do it on this one. We have five buses coming in in January. Sure 
obviously the liner is trashed too. <laughs> So show us what's this is what we're missing is this piece right mm -hmm. here it wasn't on there when we pulled this out it just came apart I would have been uh, run off of it It doesn't look that hard to push. No, it's actually like looks balanced. Yeah. Balanced. yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is easy. <laughs> well, obviously, we've only looked at the top end on this motor, and we're seeing all kinds of damage and problems. Uh, this, from this broken piston to these scratched and galled liners. Uh, I think six of the eight of them are really scratched up like this. We're, I mean, that's not good for compression at all. Uh, that camshaft, I mean, that's a big problem there. That cam does not look pretty. There's a lot of wear on it. Uh, the cam roller had a lot of spalling on it where the metal was starting to deteriorate and fall off of that cam roller. Um, we had the missing parts internally in the engine. That part wasn't even there that holds that spring on. Um, we had that loose cam bearing uh, adjuster. Uh, the cylinder health themselves, the, you know, what's been happening inside of there isn't very pretty. Uh, lots of buildup and stuff like that too. The turbos passing oil. I mean, that's a danger for the engine to have that happen too. Uh, broken piston rings. Um, just the amount of damage that we found is absolutely crazy. I mean, he did just buy this boat. They just bought it in St. Louis and they were on their way home to Florida on it. Uh, and they haven't, you know, they're not even halfway home and this is what the engine looks like. So stay tuned for more on this. His tools, check the air and all those duels. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride. It on plenty of the silver sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. up engine door watch that bus grease monkey do his thing 30 years behind that barn cause it don't run worth a darn watch that bus grease monkey make it sing he knows in detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out it's that bus grease monkey don't you know saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides it's that bus grease monkey don't you know He's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town working on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide and on Lenny the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?